In the run-up to the Winter Games in Beijing, U.S. Olympic officials changed their approach to athletes' mental health, taking a more proactive stance. The reasons are twofold. First, they anticipated mounting stress from COVID-19. And second, they learned an important lesson from Tokyo's Summer Games, when the gymnast and four-time gold medalist Simone Biles went public with her own mental health challenges and broke a taboo that resonated throughout the competition. One of the pieces of feedback we got after Tokyo was, well, I didn't have a crisis, so I didn't, I didn't reach out. Jessica Bartley is the U.S. Olympic and Paralympic Committee Mental Health Services Director. And so we were trying to be very clear that we're not here just for crisis. We're there for prevention and maintenance of mental health, just somebody to talk to, maybe some strategies or some tips uh, around not being as close to your family to avoid a crisis. The U.S. OPC conducted mental health screens around anxiety and depression last year to get a sense of where athletes were prior to the Beijing Games and have brought a raft of mental health resources to the competition. To address an issue before it becomes a crisis or to work with somebody around their mental health can make them a stronger athlete and they're overcoming adversity and there are tips and tricks and strategies that are actually going to improve somebody's mental health and performance. As though the stresses of competing on the world's biggest stage weren't great enough, competitors at the Beijing Games contend with isolation and anxiety over whether a COVID-19 positive test could derail their Olympic dreams. We have a daily COVID test, and is there any kind of stressors or anxiety about, you know, I've got a competition in a few days, what is that result going to be? Um, some athletes are losing sleep over that. American figure skater Vincent Zhao became the latest to see his Olympic dreams shattered by the pandemic, announcing on Monday he had withdrawn from this week's men's singles competition after testing positive.